What's up guys, Mark here, and in this video I thought I'd show you how to install Windows 7 Home Premium 64-bit in Parallels Desktop 8 for Mac. Now before you do this, you are going to need a couple of things. Firstly, you're going to need a copy of Windows 7. Now this could be a retail DVD, or it could be an image that you've downloaded from the internet. Google is your friend. Um, once you have either your Windows 7 DVD or your image, you're also going to need Parallels Desktop for Mac. So if you go to your favourite internet browser, mine happens to be Safari here, and just search for Parallels Desktop 8, to help if I could spell. And the first link there, Parallels Desktop for 8, and it'll bring you to the Parallels website. Now, I'm in the UK, so Let's see if I can find a UK site. Let's try this one. There you go. So as you can see, it's £65 uh, or £34.99 for an upgrade. The upgrade is from Parallels Desktop 6 or later. Uh, also, uh, the American Parallels site has a student discount. Uh, I managed to get a student discount through another website, uh, so I paid about £34 for Parallels Desktop 8 here in the UK. So once you have Parallels Desktop 8 and Windows 7 both uh, on your computer, or if you have the Windows 7 disk, have it to hand, then we're going to need to load up Parallels Desktop 8. So I'm going to go to Launchpad and select Parallels Desktop. Now, when you load up Parallels Desktop for the first time, just move, let's just get rid of these ones just for tutorial purposes, because I've already done this once. So let's just get rid of them. So when you open Parallels for the first time, let's just go back to that, you'll be greeted with this window right here. Now, obviously, we want to install Windows 7, so I'm going to click Install Windows or other another OS from a DVD or image file and go ahead and click continue there. Now if you're using a DVD then just leave this as the DVD and obviously pop the DVD in your drive. Now, I'm going to be using an image file so I'm going to go to choose an image file wait for the dialog box to appear and I'm going to go to documents operating systems and Windows 7 as you can see there, Windows 7 Professional with Service Pack 1, 64-bit. So open that, hit continue. And I'm going to enter the product key later, just to make the tutorial a little bit easier. Now, this way you choose how you want your Windows programs to run. You can either do it like a Mac, so you won't actually see your Windows desktop. You'll just be able to use the apps. Or like a PC, which as you can see from the image there, has a window with Windows running in it. So I'm going to select that and click continue. And here's where you can name your machine, so Windows 7 is fine. Where you want to have it saved, again, that's cool. And here you can either you can tweet out or post to Facebook the fact that you're installing this. And here is you can customise settings before installation. So I'm going to hit that checkbox, click continue, and it's going to create the virtual machine for you. Just give that a minute. And as you can see now, we have the Windows 7 settings dialog box with the name, OS type, here you can choose how many cores you want to give the machine, so I'm just going to give it one. Uh, I have 12 gigs of RAM, so I'm going to allocate this two, just because it doesn't really need to do much. Head over to options, and then you just have start up and shut down, so you can choose behaviours. I'm going to have this set to faster virtual machine, rather than faster Mac. Security is just password protections. I'm going to include this in my, virtual, uh, in my time machine backup, so I'll leave that as it is. I'll leave the shared folders as they are as well. Applications, I'm going to have Windows applications in my dock just for ease of use. Coherence, I don't really use to be honest with you. Now full screen mode is the interesting one in the newer version of Parallels. Uh, I think 7 and 8 have the new behaviour. If you use Mac OS 10 full screen and you only use one monitor, if you have two monitors, as I do, you won't, it's not recording the second one, but I do have another monitor off to my left. When I go into full screen in this mode, if I only have it set to use one monitor for full screen, then my second display will just have the linen effect and I won't be able to use it. Obviously, if I use both screens for full screen, it will just be as if I've got a dual screen Windows 7. If I uncheck this box, I could have Windows 7 full screened on my second display and still be able to use my first display, but just for the tutorial purposes, I'll leave that checked. 
And this allows you to configure at the Apple remote and whether you want to sync time and date from your Mac and also clipboard hardware, yeah, boot order as a normal PC. Uh, video memory, I'm going to give it, leave it as 256, that my 1GB. 3D acceleration, I'll leave it at DirectX 10 just because it works, so I may as well. Uh, V-Sync, I'll leave that on. And Retina Display, I don't have a Retina Map but Pro, so I'll just leave that as it is. I'm going to have it to add my printers, because I do have a printer connected to my computer. CD, DVD, obviously hard disk. I have a 64 gig, once it's expanded it'll be 64 gig maximum hard disk. Network, just leave as shared, I don't really have a need to uh, bridge it to my real network. Sound, obviously just enabled, and you can choose whether to share your webcam and Bluetooth devices with your virtual machine. So, uh, now that's all done, I'll go ahead and click continue, and it's going to start up the installation. And obviously I'm booting from an image file that's on my hard drive, so this will probably be able a bit faster than if you're booting from a physical DVD. As you can see there, it's just starting up the Windows installation. Right, sorry about that guys, I got interrupted. So all that's happened since uh, since you last saw the screen capture was the setup has started and has just presented you with this screen. So I'm going to select Windows 7 Home Premium purely because I don't need the features of Professional or Ultimate but if you had a retail DVD then you probably won't get this choice because the DVD will be configured for the edition that you've paid for so I'm going to click Home Premium as I said and just click Next and now the installation will proceed obviously it's going to copy the files which doesn't take any time at all as you can see it will then expand the files, install features, install updates and then complete the installation now rather than leaving this to record and boring you all to tears I will stop the recording and will come back uh, when user input is required or to just update you on the installation progress. So I'll talk to you in a short while. Right guys, I thought I'd just give you a quick update. As you can see the installation is now on completing installation. Um, shouldn't be too much longer now. There will probably be a restart between here and actually being logged into the machine. In fact, if I can remember correctly from doing this multiple times before, there is actually two restarts. Um, so I just thought I'd keep you updated on the progress uh, of the installation. Uh, I don't think anything interesting is going to happen anytime soon for you to see. Oh, there you go, setup will continue after restarting your computer. No, I don't know if it's going to give me the option to do it manually. Nope, it's just done it on its own, so there you go. So, again, starting Windows. Setup is preparing your computer for first use, checking video performance. Now, because I use Parallels Wizard for this, as it auto detects your operating system for you, you won't go through the stages of choosing an account name, a computer name, setting the time zone, etc., Windows update settings. All of that is taken care of. Uh, your account name and time and such is all carried over from OS 10. So as you can see, we're on preparing your desktop. Now this does take some time. Let you know now this does take a fair while. The first on the the first boot, but obviously once you've logged in once, then it will be much faster on subsequent boots. Now once. The, once you actually end up logged into the machine, all that will then happen is Parallels Tools uh, will be installed. You don't have to worry about any of that. It's taken care taken care of for you. As I said, this does take some time. Um, also, Windows Aero will not be enabled until after the the next restart as it's part of Parallels Tools the graphics drivers to enable Windows Aero 
I think we may nearly be there. Oh, there you go. The display has started to scale. Let's just move that back into the middle there. As I said, uh, there will be another restart uh, once you log on. And there you go, literally straight away the machine will reboot itself. Oh, looked like it tried to do it a bit too quickly there. So there you go, log it off. This will be the final reboot, or the final boot up, shall I say. Now one thing to note, I don't know if you have noticed, is that you won't get the Windows 7 boot animation, it will just be the Windows Vista one. I have tried to enable it in the same way that you would on a regular desktop PC, and I can't get it to work, so if anyone knows how to get that to work, then by all means just comment below and let me know, and let others know if you, if you may be wondering the same thing. So there you go, there's Windows Aero is up, it's asking me to choose a location for the network, so I'm just going to click Home Network, just because it's the, the easiest one, just for a virtual machine. So I'll let that connect and apply the settings, and it will, as you can see there, add a Windows Applications folder to my dock. So let's just, uh, Windows Home Group has come up, but obviously as this is a virtual machine, I don't need any of that. So if I go down to my dock now, I've got Windows 7 applications, I've also got a Windows 8 uh, virtual machine, so I've got a folder for that as well. Uh, let's just whack this into full screen, just to show you. And as you, there you go, the resolution will scale. So, I got this, I've got the full resolution of my monitor, 1360 by 768. Parallel shared folders, so there's my home folder all my documents as you can see by this folder there I am running a Hackintosh if you'd like any information or tutorials on that then uh, just hit me up a comment and I'm sure I can think of something uh, as I said before because the Parallels Wizard it's already named my account to Mark Flynn as that's the name of my home folder so if I was going to computer system properties as you can see there Windows 7 Home Premium Service Pack 1 2 gigs of RAM 64 bit 3.11 gigahertz I won't do the system rating because it tends to muck up the screen recording. And that's pretty much it guys. Uh, let's just check that the internet works. Good old Internet Explorer. Taking its time as usual. Really taking its time as usual. There you go, so there's the internet. Let's just get rid of that. So there's the internet showing up. Uh, sound all works, I don't know if you can I don't know if you can hear that or not, but I'll take my word for it, the sound does work. And that's about it guys, so um, as this was my first video on YouTube, I'd really appreciate it if you could leave some comments on uh, what you liked, maybe what you didn't like, what I could do better, uh, as it'd be nice to improve the videos over time. Uh, please rate, comment, subscribe, and as I say, leave any helpful tips uh, or ideas for new, for new videos. If, you, if you'd like to see more on virtual machines, or my Hackintosh, or Windows Server, or or anything like that just uh, leave me a comment or a personal message and I'll try and get back to you and so that's it guys and I'll see you in the next video cheers bye bye